I work hard to earn my pay And I saved real big today At All-American Ford Hey everyone, it's Jason Smino, the Marketing Director for the All-American Auto Group And this is the All-American Auto Mall and Old Bridge Updates Podcast This is episode number 25 We have a special guest from my marketing team He's one of my marketing associates, Nate But we'll get to that in a second First, I just wanted to mention uh, some of these other Get to know our employee segments that we've had We had Virginia, our custom truck specialist, on episode 12. We had Kim, our Ford sales manager, on episode 19. We had Lawrence, our Subaru service advisor, on episode 21. Uh, Episode 22, I actually focused on myself as kind of a get to know me segment. Um, And then the last couple episodes, I've been talking about the 2021 Raptor. I've been discussing some dealership updates, talked a lot about the Super Bowl and Super Bowl commercials. Um, some updates for this week. We did get the Mustang Mach-E in last week. It's been on our showroom floor, getting a lot of attention, doing really well. Um, our Rutgers Athletics Partnership is in full swing. They have a big game this week against Michigan. Um, so that's exciting stuff for us. Um, but that's really it. We're, we're supposed to get some snow tomorrow. We've been buried in snow. Our parking lot has had mounds of snow uh, for what seems like weeks now. Uh, We're doing really well selling plow trucks, almost sold out of them basically because of the snow that just keeps coming. Um, But that's really it for this week. So uh, let's get into it with Nate. So Nate, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jason. Um, Let's start with your past and uh, talk about what college you went to and what did you study? Uh, So I went to Penn State. I graduated in 2017 and I studied uh, telecommunications with a minor in marketing and uh, business. Telecommunications. Nice. All right. So what was your first job after college? So my first job after college really was working here Um, in the summers when I was home from school. I actually worked here um, on the lot as a lot attendant. Um, And then in the summer of 2017, I moved upstairs and joined the marketing team. That's right. You did. All right. So four years it's been. Um, Well, four years with summers being a lot attendant and four years on the marketing team. Um, As I brought up a lot on the show, uh, obviously, f- very proud of being family owned and operated, having very long tenured employees. Um, so Nate is definitely kind of a staple here. He's been here a while and uh, very well liked with all of our employees, obviously. Um, so let's talk about being a lot attendant here uh, in your younger years, I'd say. Um, I always ask people uh, about swaps because I used to actually do them at my father's dealership on Long Island. So. What was the longest swap you ever went on? So the longest swap I ever went on um, was actually the last summer I worked on the lot. I took a drive uh, up to Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, Took a while to get there. It was like pouring rain that day. It was just absolutely insane. Got there and drove home on a Friday afternoon. It was just absolutely beautiful out. And then, uh, yeah, that was was a long one for sure. All right. So you got me beat there because my longest swap, I think, was to Connecticut when I was at the dealership on Long Island. Um, and I remember driving through the city. It's just the amount of traffic. I, I love long car rides too, but that was a complete nightmare. Um, and speaking of long road trips, what was the longest road trip you've been on? Uh, longest road trip I've been on was actually uh, to Massachusetts. I drove up to Boston last summer or the summer of 2019. Um, me and my friends went to see Have Heart, a hardcore band that had been broken up for a very long time. Um, and they came back and reunited for a handful of shows. Um, so me and my friends were like, you know what, we're not going to miss this. And we took the ride and it was uh, 4th of July weekend. It was a great time. We watched uh, the U.S. women's soccer team win the World Cup at Boston City Hall the next day. Um, and it was awesome. That's cool. I know um, I, I've mentioned a few times on this podcast and everybody who knows me knows I'm not that big into music or concerts. Um, I do love one of my favorite videos of you I've seen is uh, you jumping off stage into just a, a complete crowd of people. So I know you're very into that. Tell us about, um, I don't know why you like doing that. Cause I don't know who would ever do that. I would never do that. But what concert was that at? If you know the video that I'm talking about that you showed me. So the video I think you're talking about is from 2019. I was at uh, the, this is hardcore festival in Philadelphia. Um, just a yearly thing they do. Um, it usually runs like Thursday through Sunday, um, just an insane weekend. It was actually the first time I'd ever been, um, but it's a full weekend, just like 
huge hardcore lineups, like old bands, new bands, like up and coming artists, um, and a band that my friends are in, um, they were actually playing that day. So I took the drive down to Philly, which is not very far from here, um, took the drive down, uh, saw them and a bunch of other bands I liked. Um, but that video in particular was from Saves the Day, um, one of my favorite bands. They're actually from Princeton, New Jersey. And um, they played a set of like all of their old songs, like just super energetic, like high energy. And I don't know, I just love doing that because it's fun. It's just a fun way to get energy out. That's why I love going to concerts and, and seeing live music because it's just an awesome way to, to release some energy. And that's like my big stress release is I just love seeing live music and the pandemic has severely hindered my ability to do that. Yep. Yep. Same thing with uh, sporting events, which is my uh, equivalent probably to you going to concerts, although I know you like sports as well. Um, all right, let's get into vehicles. So what was your first car? Uh, my first car was a 98 Nissan Sentra. Oof. Okay. Um, and what's your current car? Uh, my current car is a 2020 Ford Fusion. Nice. All right. So with Ford announcing that they're not doing vehicles anymore, because I know you've had a couple Fusions in a row. What are you looking forward to getting after this Fusion since unless you go Fusion Hybrid, there's no option for a gas Fusion after this, really? Um, I'd probably get into an Escape, honestly. I think the, the rework they did last year for the 2020 um, just really upped it super high um it just looks super nice interior and exterior just super sleek very like luxury looking almost but still afford um and the i definitely think i'd move toward a fusion or toward an escape from once the, the uh from the fusion nice okay good um so i think with the concerts and, and jumping off stage i think uh, a lot of our employees might not know that about you they'll be surprised to hear it um everybody i think knows that I at least proclaim you as a New Jersey foodie. Um, you're very into food. You know all the great spots. Um, take us through your top three favorite restaurants in New Jersey. All right. So a few of my favorite places in New Jersey. One is White Mana Hamburgers in Hackensack. It is a small, old-style diner. It's actually right down the street from our dealership up in Hackensack. Um, it's just, they basically just got a counter and a couple seats and you go in and even when it's crowded, they know exactly what order you walk in. They know who's next on the order list and they cook those burgers on a grill that looks like it's a century old, but let me tell you some of the best hamburgers I've ever had. Nice. Um, one of my other favorite spots is Jersey Shore barbecue in Belmar. Um, just great barbecue, brisket, ribs, pulled chicken, burnt ends, whatever you could want. Great Mac and cheese, great coleslaw, just all around great barbecue restaurant. Um, and one of my other favorite restaurants is actually local right by my house. It's called Escondido in Freehold. Um, just great Mexican food, you know, super affordable, tastes great. They always have good deals going and it's, it's just an awesome, like good ambience, just like great place to hang out and, and grab some food, especially in the summer when you can sit outside. Nice. Yeah. I've never been to those first two places you mentioned. I'll check them out. Like you said, that top one is right down the street from, uh, all American Ford at Hackensack, which is part of our auto group. Um, what about Old Bridge right here? What's your favorite place to go to? I know me and you order lunch a ton. Uh, we try and mix it up and get from a bunch of different places. What's your favorite though? Uh, one of my favorite places in Old Bridge has got to be Old Bridge Pizza. Um, they just do it right. They got great pizza, great subs, great food. They're just an all around great restaurant. And anytime we order from them, we know it's going to be good. We know it's going to get here quickly and, and they just do an awesome job. Shout out Old Bridge Pizza. I, I agree with that. Shout out to them. They, they treat us very well. They cater for a, a lot for us. They, they do nice stuff. Uh, I love their Buffalo chicken pizza. That's probably my favorite. What's your favorite thing to eat? My favorite thing to eat in general have got to be burgers. Um, always good, no matter where you go and you can always customize them and, you know, put whatever you want on them and just, you know, go crazy. So, you know, I love going to Especially, you know, I love taking a drive for a good burger. Like if it's a place I've never been to. Um, one place I love that I actually drove very far just to get burgers was All-American Hamburger on Long Island yep. um, in Massapequa. Um, I saw that on the Travel Channel once. And one summer, me and my friend, it was like a Saturday afternoon. And we were just like, you know what? Like, let's just take a drive. We'll go out there. And it's just like a classic, like, drive-in cheap food but it's so good like you know you can tell it's fresh homemade like it's just fantastic so like i love love a good hamburger always nice good thing we did this after lunch because i would be very very hungry and we'd have to order a lot of food um all right so uh i appreciate you joining this was great this was the get to know nate 
uh, episode of this podcast, and uh, we'll be back next week. Thanks, everyone. Well, everyone can afford it. All of